Hey, in two months, Tennesseans will elect a new senator to replace Lamar Alexander, who is set to retire. Former Ambassador Bill Hegarty is the Republican nominee. Marquita Bradshaw is the Democratic nominee. During the primary, Hegarty was endorsed multiple times by President Trump and campaigned often in Northeast Tennessee. And less known to many local voters is Marquita Bradshaw, the Democrat from Memphis who made history as the state's first black woman nominated in a statewide primary by a major political party. I got a chance to speak with her earlier this week. I was not surprised because I was already seeing the movement happen. Marquita Bradshaw may not have been surprised primary night, but many were when she won the Democratic nomination for the United States Senate without big endorsements or big donations. It was where those dollars were coming from and who those dollars were coming from. And they were coming from hardworking families just like me. Bradshaw says she's a single mother who earns less than $15 an hour as a caregiver for a special needs adult. Sometimes I work 10 hours, sometimes I work 15, depending on what the schedule allots, like most Americans. Um, and I work full time as a candidate, too. Uh, and sometimes, like right now, I'm on my break <laughs> to talk to you. Bradshaw's Republican opponent is Bill Haggerty, a wealthy businessman and President Trump's former ambassador to Japan. We cannot send another millionaire to the U.S. Senate. You hope to be able to debate him at some point? No. Not interested in that. I don't have time to think about an opponent when I'm thinking about serving the public. Bradshaw says she supports universal Medicare for all, increased funding for education, universal background checks for gun owners, and the legalization of recreational marijuana. She signed the Green New Deal pledge and supports a $15 an hour minimum wage. My whole platform is about serving hardworking families to have healthy and safe communities. Marquita Bryanshaw said she plans to visit every county in the state of Tennessee before Election Day, and her liberation tour will bring her to Morristown, Tennessee, coming up on Friday.